So, what happens if you're out sailing with the spinnaker up and you capsize? What is the procedure? What should you do? And also, what if you're out single-handed on a Hobie Tiger or another F-18? Is it possible to bring the boat back upright? We're gonna find out. Hello, yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And yes, I'm on a Hobie Tiger, single-handed. It's not particularly windy. It's probably, I don't know, no more than seven knots, maybe, wind. And we're gonna see what to do if we capsize with the spinnaker up. And then, as a little bonus feature, we're gonna see if it's possible to bring the boat back upright using the writing bag. Okay, so the most common cause of a capsize with the spinnaker up is not reacting soon enough to a gust. If it's on a day like today, if the hull started coming out of the water and kind of inbuilt reflexes kick in and you head up into the wind to depower the boat, like you might do going upwind, then chances are you're gonna capsize. If it's a bit windier, um, then if you don't spot the gust before it hits you, if it's a big gust, then there might not be time to bear away enough to take the power off so you could capsize there. So the trick is to spot the gust, respond early if it's windy, and then you shouldn't capsize. There are of course a lot of other ways you could capsize with the kite up, but I think for now, let's see if we can turn this bad boy over. There's not much wind. So, to capsize, what I'm gonna do is just sail a bit too close to the wind. And then if we get a gust, we're just gonna do nothing. We're not gonna bear away. This is extremely counterintuitive. Now, it's not quite enough there to get it to go. So I'm actually gonna move over towards the wrong side of the boat. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is like something I would never do. Okay. Oh, we're, we're definitely flying a hole now. Okay, I'm holding on to the boom. And I think we've gone. Oh! Okay, we have definitely capsized. So, like we said before, if we capsize and we're in this position, it's important to get out of there as soon as we can. Because if the boat is going to invert, we don't want the trampoline coming down onto us. Okay, next most important thing is to make sure that we are attached to the boat. Don't let go of the boat, especially if it's windy. A boat like this is gonna sail away from you quite quickly. Okay, at the moment we've got the wind blowing onto the, the top of the bottom of the trampoline, which if it was windier would invert us. So the first thing that I wanna do, single-handed, is just try to turn the boat a bit so that the chance of inversion is reduced. So just gonna to toss the writing line over the top there. Okay, and I'm gonna to get to the front of the hull. There's not a lot of wind to turn it, but we're still gonna have a pop. We seem to have become the center of attention here in Vasiliki Bay with the Wild Wind's finest safety fleet is with us. Okay, once we're happy that the risk of inversion is no longer there, we're now gonna drop the spinnaker. It's very important to take the spinnaker down before you try righting the boat, because if you don't, what you've got is at the top of the mast, or halfway up the mast, you'll have the spinnaker acting like a bag of water, and that is gonna prevent you from bringing the boat upright. We'll do it much like we would if we were sailing. We've got the retrieval line just here we need to release the halyard halyard released 
pulling the retrieval. Same as if we were on the boat. Kite's starting to go in. Looks like the sheet's just a bit caught there. So we're keeping an eye on it as we drop it, just make sure it's not snagged. We're in the capsized position, it is reasonably easier to rip the spinnaker, unfortunately. All right, I've got a jammed sheet, so I'm just gonna unjam that sheet. Why is the sheet jamming? Oh, I see, okay. Sheet unjammed, spinnaker can now go in a bit better. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, tack line needs to be released. There we go, pulling her in. All right, spinnaker is now in. So that's actually it for the what to do if you capsize with the spinnaker up portion of this video. So we're now gonna look at if, if it is actually possible to right the boat single-handed. I am using, I'm carrying, the 50 litre writing bag, which we know works for the 16, but does it work for the Tiger? Stay tuned to find out. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Okay, so now the boat has swung round. The wind's now onto the top of the trampoline, but to be honest, the wind's so light, I can't see it actually having that much of an effect. It's gonna have a bit of an effect, but not much. Right, I'm just freeing off the main sheet, but I'm leaving the traveler in the middle, because hopefully that will just mean the boat is gonna stay a little bit more into the wind when and if it eventually comes up. I'm just tying a bowline in the right in line. We're gonna attach the bag there. All right. So time to deploy the bag. We've seen the bag before. We're just gonna clip the bag onto the bowling that I've just tied. Nice. And now I'm just gonna lower the bag into the water. We've got this purchase system on the bag that's gonna help us to lift it out, of course. The tricky bit is actually filling the bag to a certain extent, getting enough water in there. We really want that to be pretty much full. So we want as close to that 50 litres as possible. It's about half. Come on bag. All right happy with the bag. All right, so I'm just gonna use the bag hoist to hoist the bag, would you believe? And I'm just pulling it out enough so it just sits on the hull. All right, let's have a look. So I'm just getting the, the rope on the bag over my shoulder, getting out as far as possible Okay, at the moment, it is looking like a bit of a no chance. I am gonna let the traveler off the mainsail, Ooh, just to see if it's actually the mainsail is containing a bit of water, which is preventing us from going up. If there was any more wind also, very important on these boats with the self-tacking jib is to completely loosen the jib. If you have got a clip on your jib, which holds the sheets on, good idea to release that as well. Of course, in this light wind, it's not quite such an issue. All right, so I'm getting out 
as much as I can. <clears throat> and I think at this point we can say no, it's not going to happen. Not today, not with zero wind, not with this size bag. So I'm going to call on the services of uh, Seb and Ewan. So yes, I have had to get help from the safety boat. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much, chaps. Okay, so there's the answer to the question. No, not in this wind. And look at that, even in this wind, we're off on a lightning tack to oblivion. So that is the pulling power of the jib. If you have the traveler out on the mainsail, I've also got the bag out the back working as a sea anchor. Oh my word. If it was any windier, this would be really difficult to get back on. So what I'm doing, hoping that we're not gonna hit anything, grabbing the trapeze, getting the foot on the dolphin striker and just pushing back. And that worked pretty nicely actually to get on. Whew. We've still got, look at that, we're just bearing off the bag as a sea anchor. This is the sort of research you need to see the results of on Joyrider TV. Taking these big hits so that you don't have to. Whew. All right, so I've just pulled the traveler in, pulled the main sheet in, which has pulled us up into the wind. I now need to recover the bag. Whew. Cool, we're having a good time today. 20 kilos, 50 kilos. Probably about 30 kilos, 40 maybe of water. There we go. All right, so there you go. So my weight plus the bag is probably about 120 kilos, which has just been proved that in very light wind, that was probably down to about five, six knots there. It's not enough to right the boat. I'm gonna need more wind um, or more weight. Um, yeah, what else did we find out? Loads of stuff, really good stuff. Yeah, um, so there you go. If you're not yet subscribed to Joyrider TV, uh, you should subscribe, of course. Hit the like button, uh, watch some other videos and that. And uh, thanks very much. I'll be back soon with some more on Joyrider TV. Whew.